Hi guys and gals, Shane Stevenson again here at the Buffalo Naval Park and for today's video we are going to be talking and tracking a little bit uh, the gun director tubes. Now this is a question we get quite a bit. People will go into the officer's wardroom and say, hey what's this big thing? It doesn't look like your traditional stanchion and uh, it isn't. Right, so we have two gun directors on board, the Mark 34, which was for the main battery 6-inch 47, and then the Mark 37, which was the secondary battery 5-inch. Alright, of course, we had four 6-inch turrets and six 5-inch uh, mounts in her original Cleveland class, and then after the Talos, we kept one and one. Right, but of course, they're not going to cut out the director tubes. So... Mark 34 director tube is right at about frame 55. Uh, Mark 37 director tube is at frame 61.5. So what this would have done is you're gathering all on the 05 level, you're gathering all of that data needed to track and uh, terminate a target. So range, speed, height, direction, relation to ship, and all of that is getting sent electronically, eventually ending up in gun plot, where you have, at one time, you know, we had the Mark I uh, computer, firing computer, and then the Mark 48 firing computer as well. If you've been on a curator tour, you'll know that the Mark 48 has been removed, and the two stable elements have been removed as well. So... Admiral's quarters, frame 55. Here's the gun director tube for the Mark 30. Uh, sorry, the Mark 34. All right, leading up from the 05, we're now on the main deck. Let me show you. All right, this is an unedited, unedited video. Now we're in the uh, lieutenant, flag lieutenant space. Here it is. Here, the other side of the bulkhead. All right, and then if we go here into Bill Abbott's office, our Director of Operations. Alright, here is the Mark 37 Director Tube. Now I can only access it from here. Uh, there's a sealed door on the other side, but here it is here. You can see frame 57 to frame 62 and right at frame 61 and a half here it is and this is again for the Mark 37 so frame 55 for the Mark 34 frame 61 and a half for the Mark 37 thank you Bill didn't know you were back by this time <laughs> I'm sorry Snuck back in. <laughs> now, just gotta shut the lights and lock the doors here. Okay, so we're gonna head down to the second deck through Admiral's passageway here. Now, because we're open and we're a little busy, uh, I'm hoping to go through unscathed with some visitors. Uh, you know, of course, I don't want to get them on camera and things like that, but we'll see how we do. Alright, second deck. Heading into the officer's ward room, as I mentioned. Okay. And here is the director tube for Mark 34. Nice and round, coming down through Admiral's quarters and flag lieutenant space. Frame 61.5. Here's the director tube for the Mark 37. Now, an interesting an interesting uh, little quirk here is 
all of a sudden it stops being a rounded tube and it becomes oblong and more like a very flat oval. So while you'll see some of it here, of course it continues to the center line of the ship and it does not take that nice rounded that we saw in that space behind Bill Abbott's office. It now is extended from here into the center line of the ship. But I might have a theory as to why that is. All right, so we are going to head down to third deck now and check that out. Everyone loves that film. It's uh, D-Day's Sunken Secrets by Nova that we show in the officer's uh, ward room. So if you're a fan of that sort of stuff, you can find that video, D-Day's Sunken Secrets. Okay, here we are here. Now we are on the third deck, again, frame 55. Here is the gun director tube for the 6-inch Mark 34 gun director. Now, what is interesting is that if you were to head aft, you are now into the uptake spaces. So as I mentioned up on the second deck, it doesn't look like a nice rounded tube like this. It, it was oblong and oval-ish. What I'm thinking is, because of the uptakes, they are now bringing the Mark 37, I'm sorry, I'm doing things with my hands. They are now bringing the Mark 37 director uh, electrical wiring from 61.5, frame 61.5, and they're including it in the frame 55 director tube because of the uptakes now, all of a sudden it disappears from the blueprints. All right, so maybe that extended, you know, it was probably out to here or so, right? So maybe that extended uh, tube was to begin curving the wires and coming through into the Mark 37, down into gun plot two levels down below, and then again breaks apart, some of them going to the Mark I, some of them going to the Mark 48. All right, down below this ballistic hatch here is gun plot. All right, and you walk down the ladder, you walk down the ladder again, and you make a left. And so, of course, I would predict the computer is right around here somewhere. So again, what I'm thinking is, because the uptakes uh, are here, through the bulkhead, that they merge the two director electrical wiring systems into this, and then down into gut plot right about there. So as I mentioned, we're kind of busy today, and um, on the plans on the third deck, yeah, the, the director's tube is just gone, and of course you can't have it with the uptakes uh, and the plenums. So, and I'm just maybe not skilled enough to follow the wiring. Um, it probably, maybe it's, yes. So, that might be it right there curling around, oh boy, and then it gets into, that's a lot of wiring. <laughs> Can't follow it because we got the Marine Corps thing right here, but obviously it's, some tubes are entering into the Mark, uh, uh, the Mark 34 director. Well, <laughs> I'd like to expand this video out a little bit, of course. Um, just given what I have access to today, uh, this is what this is what we got. So I hope that you enjoyed. Please ring the bell, uh, subscribe if you really like this video. Again, everyone always asks what those huge tubes are that aren't stanchions, right? They're director's tubes leading up from the 05 all the way down to the second platform.
And uh, you know what? We'll see you again soon. Thanks for all of your support.